What have you done? I'll leak the papers, yeah. I'll give them Cathy's name and rank. Why? I could see the investigation into finding those kids wasn't getting any closer, so I thought... No, no, you didn't think. You didn't think at all. You didn't see Brandon climbing the walls like I did, did you? It's better for everyone, I bet you. Oh, right, so you think you've got more experience than the whole of MIT. You think you know better. You have no right to go around making decisions like that. I was trying to move the investigation on. Yeah, well, you have. Everything all right? Uh, yes, Mum, it's just a disciplinary matter. Oh, nothing I need to worry my pretty little head about. No, no, it's OK. I can deal with it. Right. He's got a history of failing to show for court appearances. There's no way he'll get banged for the assault. Just takes him off the street for a while. Leaves the way open for this guy, Lenny Cleave, to move in on his patch. We better get ready for a turf war. Um, what's going to happen to Leo Price, his brother and sister? You're not his dad, Smithy. Leo told me that you got a bit heavy with him a while ago. Did he? I made a lot of noise. He told me what I wanted to know. Maybe I heard one. Inspector Gold. You give me one good reason why I still shouldn't. I was doing it for the best intentions. I did it for Brandon. Yeah, and you've probably set the investigation back even further. It was a dumb thing to do. I wasn't thinking straight. Don't be angry with me. You need to think with your head, not your heart. Not all the time, surely. Friends? We have an MIT profile which suggests PC Bradford hardly even exists. We have witness statements from her colleagues and what few friends we could find, which is so full of contradictions, it doesn't even sound like they're talking about the same person. Well, there's no pattern to her movements at all. She started here at the King Henry Primary where she picked the kids up. We get a mobile signal from over here. Car's found down here, then Zoe's call comes from over here. Then an hour later, we find a supermarket receipt which takes us back down here. So at this moment in time, we've absolutely no idea where Cathy Bradford is. on ITV2. What drove an apparently respectable civil servant to go on a four-year killing spree? Real crime. Next here. So when you stand on these scales, you're all going to be happy, are you? Not one of you can just say, no, no, thank you, I'm full. Fat friends. And later, after the news, beautiful boys. <laughs>